On the cusp of Canada marking the 100th anniversary of the end of the First World War, for you, why, does it, why is it important for Manitobans to remember that anniversary? Well, First World War, the war to end all wars, wasn't it? It didn't. Not even close. I mean, we've had more conflicts, uh, you know, huge conflicts, multinational conflicts than we've ever had since the First World War. Uh, so that part about the, the war to end all wars, that would, has proven to be totally false. Uh, I, th I think it's very important that we remember it, that, you know, the, there was a, a government in Europe that uh, run by a dictator that was uh, not good. Uh, thought that uh, a single race was superior and uh, that everything should fall in line with his thoughts. You know, absolutely amazing how one person with the right personality can persuade so many people to do the wrong thing. And uh, you know, that's where, that's where democracy comes in and it, with its checks and balances. Uh, that kind of thing doesn't happen, uh, but it was just amazing, you know, when you when you look at the history and how Adolf Hitler came to power and and uh, how he ended up, you know, taking over so much of Europe and uh, his people following him blindly, blatantly, you know, and, and, and performing deeds that were just absolutely atrocious, uh, not only by those standards back in in that day, but today as well. You know, it's just unbelievable that those kinds of things can actually happen. But they do, and it, it, that's not the end of it. I mean, we've seen that even in our day, where those kinds of things are happening in, in other countries. So, I mean, it's it's too bad. But uh, so I think the uh, uh, um, an organization like uh, the Canadian Forces that uh, the government has committed to to assist countries that want to have a better life, I think that's a good thing that our government does. In Flanders' fields, the poppies blow. Between the crosses, row on row, that mark our place. A memorable line from that poem states, To you from failing hands we throw the torch, be yours to hold it high. The torch has come to symbolize the immediacy of the fight during the war, but it has also come to symbolize so much more than that. For you, what is the meaning of that torch, and why is it incumbent upon all Canadians to continue to hold it high? There was a great deal of sacrifice made by our soldiers in not only the First World War, but in subsequent wars and conflicts. The torch be yours that hold it high. It's, I don't view that as a military thing. That is a, that is a citizenship responsibility. The torch is, uh, you know, people talk a lot about freedom in our country. Well, freedom doesn't come with sacrifice. And freedom has responsibility. And freedom is only there because of democracy. And people have to exercise that right, the right of democracy. Uh, we're, we're starting to not do that. Uh, if you look at our turnouts for elections, uh, atrocious. I can't say it any other word. 35%, 40%, that's atrocious. Uh, it should be a minimum of 90%. I mean, it's a democratic freedom we have. We have levels of government to keep things in check and in balance. And people are not exercising their right as voters. If you don't exercise that right, you will lose that right. Governments will dictate things and put laws in place that will remove that freedom from you. And uh, we really have to get folks out there. And, and I hope that something like this uh, puts that in the minds of, uh, of our students uh, in schools today that you know, you have a responsibility as a citizen. You don't just have it as uh, at 18 when you start to vote. You have that right from your kid, from when you're little. And I think people have to, uh, parents have to instill that in their children. Uh, democratic right and democratic freedom to vote and that sort of thing. But also uh, to engage in the community. We have so many people today that, you know, let somebody else do it. And that just, it's so bothering or troubling to me that, uh, that people just don't want to become engaged. I'll help, but I don't want to lead. Well, you know what? Sometimes you just got to bite the bullet and lead because nobody else will. And, uh, and participate and, and, and volunteer. And there's so many things in the community that, that can be done by volunteers and that are done by volunteers. And if it wasn't for volunteers, we wouldn't have nearly the community that we do here. We have a great volunteer base. And that's all, I view that all part of your democratic freedom, participating in community, community uh, uh, and, and being involved in community engagement. And, 
just just being a citizen. <laughs> you, <know? laughs> you want to be a citizen of Canada, it comes with responsibilities. You want to be a citizen of this community, it's the same thing. You're still a citizen of Canada, you're a citizen of this community. You need to participate.